When we go shopping for food for the optimal diet, we go to Pack and Save. There's no need to spend enormous money to get healthy food. The scientific literature is now saying over and over again that the optimal diet is a whole food, plant-based diet. Nothing that's ever had a face or a mother. Take, for instance, this orange. There are 600 different phytochemicals in this orange. Not just vitamin C, but hundreds of others. What we tend to do is take one chemical, like the vitamin C, extract it from the orange, and take that as a tablet. What we need to be doing is eating the orange, the whole of the orange, with all the goodness that goes with it. And look, it's sugar, for instance. Do you realize how much sugar cane it takes to produce one teaspoon of sugar? It's absolutely shocking when you look at refined food. It takes two meters of sugar cane to produce one teaspoon of sugar. And what they've done is they've stripped away everything else in the sugar cane and simply left us with the sweet stuff. All the B vitamins, all the C vitamins, all the other nutrients and phytochemicals that are so good for us have been stripped away and simply left with the sugar. That's what makes the processed food so hard for our bodies to deal with. You eat too much of this stuff and I'll be visiting you in hospital. It's not cars and motorbikes that are killing New Zealanders. Dead cows are what are killing New Zealanders. The primary cause of stroke and heart disease was dead animals. In 2005, 25% of the deaths in New Zealand were caused by heart attack. Another 10% were caused by stroke. Heart attack is when the heart muscle dies. Stroke is when brain tissue dies. The majority of those deaths were caused by a buildup of fat called cholesterol on the artery walls. The body produces more than enough cholesterol for its, only need, for its own needs. The only source of dietary cholesterol is from animal products. Cholesterol is a little bit like soap. We need a little bit of it to clean out our arteries, but if we get too much cholesterol, it builds up on the walls of the arteries. Those plaques build up and eventually block the artery. It's a little bit like if you hold your breath. You hold your breath for 30 seconds, what's going to happen? You're going to fall over. Eventually, if you don't get oxygen for long enough, you will die. It's the same thing with muscle and brain tissue, heart tissue and brain tissue. If that heart tissue and brain tissue does not get blood, which provides oxygen, it will die. Would you like to know how to mount fat off the artery walls? The body is an amazing system and it has built into it the mechanism to remove those um, fat, fatty plaques from the artery walls. All we need to do is assist that mechanism. By eating a low um, fat plant-based diet, we're not taking the cholesterol in in our diet and that enables the body to act on that cholesterol and remove it from the walls of those arteries. They've shown by studies of angiograms, x-rays of the arteries, that this actually happens. You can reduce, dramatically reduce your chance of having a heart attack or a stroke by eating a simple, low-fat, plant-based diet. Food as grown.